experience of a Marine combat vet running to unseat a longtime Wisconsin senator donating to their son's opponent, Democratic incumbent Tammy Baldwin. But Kevin Nicholson says he's not surprised because he was raised a Democrat. He's here to explain why he switched parties to run as a conservative. Is Wisconsin state candidate Kevin Nicholson. Thanks for being with us, Kevin. Good morning, Ainsley. Good How are you? Good morning. I'm great. Thank you. Thank you, first of all, for serving our country. I know you served in Iraq and in Afghanistan. You were a cowboy before that. You have quite a resume. I know that you were the president of the College <laughs> Dems of America in 1999, and then you switched to become a Republican. Why'd you do that? You know, it's uh, my worldview is formed by my experiences, and I'll say this. I mean, it's uh, my decision to join the United States Marine Corps in the middle of two wars and to fight in Iraq and Afghanistan. And I'll tell you, while there, I had my illusions ripped away. You mentioned my time as a cowboy. Boy, waking up at 4 a.m. every morning will make you more conservative one way or the other because <laughs> you're going to go out and work extremely hard. Exactly. My choice to become a Christian, to fight for the unborn. My choice to pursue the career I ever have, the career I have since I left the Marine Corps, which is a lot of hard work. My experience as a husband, as a father. These are all the things that form your worldview and your opinion. And, you know, some might disagree with that, and that's fine. I mean, I, I don't have a problem with that, but those are the views that will define my time as a United States Senator. And what it taught me really was that conservatism, <clears throat> when it comes down to it, is common sense. And it's, <clears throat> excuse me, it's don't spend more money than you have. It's treat people decently on the merit of their character, not on the color of their skin. It's look out for the future of our American Republic and leave it in better shape than you found it for future generations. These are all common sense to me, and frankly, those of us that have kind of walked a similar path, which includes, of course, Ronald Reagan and, <clears throat> excuse me, many other uh, conservatives that were once Democrats, we own this in a way that's hard to explain. We advocate for it because we've seen the other side and know that those policies and those ideas do not make people more successful. That's what made me a conservative, experience, learning things. And that's why I advocate for it now. And that's why I'm going to win this race and beat Tammy Baldwin. Well, your parents have experience, too, with life. Donna and Michael Nicholson, they donated $2,700 to the primary com campaign of your opponent, Tammy Baldwin. So what do they think about you becoming a Republican? And why did they donate to your opponent? Well, I mentioned worldview world before. We have different worldviews, and we do have different experiences. I, I mentioned my time in the Marine Corps. You know, if you want to have your illusions ripped away as a young person, go to war, and you're going to learn a lot about yourself, and you're going to learn a lot about the world. You're going to see bad guys and exactly what they are and what they want to do to innocent people. One of the things I appreciate about our current president, President Trump, is he understands this and treats bad guys for what they are, people that want to hurt innocent people, innocent Americans, but also our allies and other innocent people across the world. That's one of the reasons that I have become so strongly pro-life. I've seen innocent life thrown away, and I saw that as a young person. You know, and these kind of experiences early are, are extremely searing. I, you mentioned my time as a cowboy again. I, you know, waking up at 4 a.m. every day and going out and seeing the way agriculture really works as a business and how hard it is to make it, the taxation and regulatory hurdles that people have in that business to, in order to become profitable, in order to make it with them and their family. It's not an easy way to live. Yeah, I mentioned being a husband and a father. You know, I mean, nothing will make you conservative than more conservative than raising three kids and, and doing it in a world that has a whole lot of obstacles and challenges that you need to teach them how to deal with and how to still be successful. Beautiful that's my family. We're showing a picture right now of your family. Real quickly, are you getting well, along you. with your parents? What are they saying about this? You know, uh, it's unfortunate. We're not in contact with my parents. Really? That's a decision they made on the basis of their oh, politics. No. I wouldn't yeah, have asked that. I'm sorry. But, you know, I, I'm sorry. I thought maybe it was... <laughs> Y'all just, you know, didn't no, agree and you agreed at this. Don't, the dinner no, table no. not to talk about no. it. No, no, you know, I'll, I'll say this. That decision is something that, that people have made on the basis of their politics. I talked to my son the other night. We were talking about our family, and he noted exactly how full and wonderful our family is. We're surrounded by aunts, uncles, cousins, and many people who love us and are integrally uh, supportive of our campaign, but more importantly, our family. And there's a lot of love in our family, and we mm -hmm. appreciate that. But that, I give them back to that worldview, a worldview that my wife and I have formed through our experience, through our life, looking forward and how much it means to us to be able to hand off to our children, again, an American experiment that's in better shape than the one that we found, one that's sounder, which is better, in a better position to protect the American mm -hmm. dream. That's what we're fighting for. That's what I fought for in the Marine Corps. I believe very strongly right. in these ideas. And then I look at Tammy Baldwin, and frankly, I see the absolute antithesis of all that. Somebody who spent right. more money than we ever had. Somebody who signed on to the Iran deal. And I just want to say this for a moment. That Iran deal that she signed on to so quickly, that Obama sponsored, 
that sent cash on cargo planes to a state sponsor of terror that killed Americans in both Iraq and Afghanistan. My counter IED team in Afghanistan found Iranian made IEDs in Afghanistan. That's who yeah. Tammy Ball was sending All money right. for, or money to, and that's why we're going to beat her in this election.